All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Night on the Power. So I wanted to make a video about Marcus Rule, specifically the 2000 Night of Champions. So I came across this photo of Marcus Rule and a bodybuilder by the name of Paul Dillette, who is arguably one of the biggest and freakiest bodybuilders from the 1990s and the early 2000s. Now, if you look at this particular photo of Paul and Marcus, Marcus doesn't even look human in this photo. I mean, the size of Marcus Rule next to Paul Dillette looks absolutely insane. Now keep in mind, this is a most muscular pose. This is not a front lat spread. Just look at the width of Marcus Rule in this photo next to Paul Dillette. And keep in mind, Paul Dillette was a 285 pound bodybuilder on stage. He would get up to 330 pounds in the off season. In kilograms, that's about 150 kilograms. He's also six foot one. So this guy was no small bodybuilder. He was absolutely massive. And next to Marcus Rule, he looked like he barely even lifted. I mean, Marcus Rule looks twice as wide as him in that most muscular shot. Now, my question to you guys is, in terms of size, is this one of the freakiest photos of any bodybuilder ever? Is this the biggest a bodybuilder has ever looked in a photo? I mean, the angle is perfect. The lighting is perfect. He's next to another massive bodybuilder, and he just looks thick and dense as a house. So let me know what you guys think about this photo being one of the best pictures um, just displaying mass in bodybuilding. So now the surprising thing is, despite the fact that Marcus Rule was probably the heaviest guy in this show, the biggest guy by a long shot, he actually did not win the 2000 Night of Champions. He placed second to Jay Cutler. Obviously, Jay Cutler was the runner-up at the Olympia, so he was really the favorite to win. But look at this photo of him and Jay Cutler hitting a front last spread. Now, I think you could definitely make an argument for Marcus Rule winning this pose. Marcus Rule got second to Jay at this show. Um, in my opinion, Jay is not the guy with the smallest waist. Now, Marcus Rule obviously had a very, very blocky waist, and at times in his career, his waist looked pretty bad. But if anyone was going to beat him in a battle of wastes, um, you know, Jay Cutler isn't a guy with a tiny waist to make Marcus's look even bigger. So really, they both kind of look blocky. Marcus's looked a little bit blockier. Um, they both had pretty good legs. Obviously, Jay Cutler is known for having that crazy quad, um, you know, definition, separation, and size. That's probably one of the things that put him over Marcus. He's a little bit more balanced. Um, Marcus is a lot more top-heavy than Jay Cutler is. And of course, Marcus would go on to win the Night of Champions in 2002, which would probably be his most prestigious bodybuilding title. Um, but this is one of the things I wanted to talk about with Marcus is the fact that he would go to all these shows and he would have crazy battles with top Olympia competitors, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Gunter Schleerkamp, all these guys. But at the Olympia, he was never able to really put it together. But some of these other shows, these Grand Prix, the Night of Champions, some of these smaller shows, Marcus Rule would come correct. And he would really, really push these guys um, with the, the, the sheer size of Marcus when he was able to come in conditioned. That much muscle just looked insane. He just outmuscled everybody to the point where he was just undeniable. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but in my opinion, 2000 Marcus Rule at the Night of Champions was arguably one of the freakiest displays of mass and conditioning um, that I've really ever seen, especially in that photo of him next to Paul Dillette. I think that is an iconic photo um, that'll go down in bodybuilding history. People are going to look back at the early 2000s era um, and say, man, what happened to this Marcus Rule guy? How did people forget about him? This guy was a monster. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.